I'm Mark from irreplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the clutch drum on a Ryobi trimmer. The clutch drum works in unison with the clutch. Together they make it possible so that when the engine is at idle, the trimmer head doesn't rotate. As you apply throttle, the clutch expands into the clutch drum, which then rotates the trimmer head. Common issues with the clutch drum is wear to the mounting location where the flexible shaft mounts to the clutch drum. These square corners will get rounded off. Also wear to the inside of the clutch drum. This is where the clutch itself expands out and makes contact with the drum. Replacing the clutch drum is easy to do and I'm going to show you how. Clutch drums as well as many other parts can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover. Now we have access to the carburetor and the throttle cable. While it is possible to remove the throttle cable from the carburetor's linkage without removing the carburetor, it's very easy to accidentally break the cast end on the end of the throttle cable. So I'll go ahead and remove the two screws that secure the carburetor to the engine. Now I can pull the carburetor away and twist it up while removing the throttle cable. Now I remove the clutch housing and the shaft from the rest of the engine. It's secured with four screws. Now I remove the clutch drum and the clutch. Before I do that though, I need to bind up the piston. If I don't bind the piston, when I go to remove the screw that secures the clutch drum and the clutch itself, the crankshaft will simply rotate and I won't be able to free them. I'll remove the spark plug boot and then the spark plug. Now to bind the piston, I'll insert a piece of starter rope into the cylinder. The starter rope will coil up and take up all that space inside the combustion chamber so that the piston won't have any travel and the crankshaft won't be able to rotate. Now I'll remove the clutch drum. It's held with an internal screw. Now I'll install the clutch drum. First comes the small spacer washer and then the drum. And I'll tighten down the internal screw inside the drum. Now reinstall the spark plug. And replace the spark plug boot. Now I'll reinstall the upper shaft to the engine. As I do that, I need to thread the throttle cable through the engine housings. I'll secure the clutch drum housing to the engine. Now I'll reinstall the throttle cable back onto the carburetor's throttle linkage. And I'll secure the carburetor as well as the choke plate with the screws. As I tighten the upper screw, I want to make sure I have the choke plate lined up as well as the wavy washer so it doesn't get pinched by the screw. Now I'll reinstall the back cover and secure it with the screws. And that's all it takes to replace the clutch drum on a Ryobi trimmer. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.